Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome again. Good evening. Good evening. To understand who I am, I must first tell you all this story, but bear with me. Because this story, it's not that long, but it happened a long time ago. You see, I was in primary two and I just got picked up from school by my dad. We were in the car and he asked me the two hardest questions in life. Question number one. Boy, what do you want, for, what do you want to have for lunch? <laughs> and after minutes and hours of deciding and eating at Jollibee, he asked me the second hardest question. Boy, what do you want to be when you grow up? I am currently 19 years old, and as of now, I had many things and many personalities, many things that I wanted to be when I grew up. However, two struck into my heart. Let's start with number one. When I was, in, when I was very young, I wanted to become a wizard. <laughs> the thought to either help people or to trouble them using magic powers brings a certain grin to my face. And it's so easy. Imagine having an argument with someone. Instead of thinking of a good comeback, why not just stupefy them? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what stupefy means, it's a paralyzer. <laughs> Magic is amazing, and it's so simple. You can carry things using a levitation spell, you can make yourself invisible by using a magical cloth, you can even teleport from one place to another by just holding hands with a group. It's amazing what magic can do to us for. But let's skip to a few years when I realized that Harry Potter were just people acting. Oh. And I realized this at a very mature age, age 10. <laughs> <laughs> so I came up with a new dream. A dream more realistic, one might say, because at the age of 10, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to become Spider-Man. <laughs> How I think this is realistic, let me explain. When I watched the movie for the very first time, I was convinced to how we can get spider powers by just getting bitten <laughs> by spiders. Oh, no. Why I wanted to become Spider-Man, that's quite interesting actually. Besides having his abnormal power and strength and the ability to shoot webs from my hands, I was intrigued by the idea of helping people. The thought of having to impact someone's life or to save them brings a certain joy to my life and it makes me think that my life has purpose. And I told this to my parents, mom, dad, I wanted to become Spider-Man because I wanted to help people and they told me one of the biggest lies that I lived through until today and I still believe to until today. They said, and I quote from my dad, boy, get good grades, eat lots of vegetables, then maybe you can become the Spider-Man of Brunei. <laughs> <laughs> Two years later, I was the top of my class. I ate more vegetables than any other kids, obviously. And I practiced my web shooting every single day. <laughs> but alas, the sudden realization of not having any radioactive spiders in Brunei shattered my dream. And no matter how many spider bites, seven spider bites, no matter how many normal spider bites, seven spider bites, and no matter how many spider bites, seven spider bites, you can never become spider bites. <laughs> Having your dreams shattered consistently is not a good feeling, ladies and gentlemen. Luckily, once I've realized this, once you've realized this, you can either stop doing from what you're usually doing and learn from it. It took me almost 17 years to realize what I wanted to become, and that is to become a magical, impactful person such as a wizard that can help people, like Spider-Man. So I managed to come up with one thing that I believe is possible until today. And no, it's not Power Rangers, or Ultraman, or even Teletubbies. No, 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 no. <laughs> it is a teacher. You see, I can talk about what my favorite color is, black, or what my favorite song is, one by Kane Smokers, or even my favorite anime. That's great, but I chose a different book. I do my ice breaking in a sense where you all know what I believe in and what my ambitions are. And that is to become a teacher. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how Malikom breaks the ice. Thank you.